Okay, yesterday I was doing some ballistic testing with the new FX 25 grain hybrids for expansion and clear ballistics gel. Uh, two formulations, 20% and 10%. I'm looking for a round that will expand well on a groundhog size critter. But um, I decided to try out. I got some of these a while back, um, and I know the light's not great. In fact, let's go out here for a second. These are the varmint knockers, 25 cal, 31.5 grain, and I'm going to try them for expansion. And the other thing that I'm sort of be testing is I introduced this uh, in one of my last videos. This is a barrel dampener deresonator it basically <clears throat> you move it up and down the uh, moderator to find uh, the best har harmonics for the uh, pellet or slug exiting the barrel and uh, uh, it worked uh, with another uh, pellet I was using slug and I'm gonna try it here but first I'm gonna get some velocities because part of that uh, accuracy thing is speed, twist rate. So um, <clears throat> let's chronograph some velocities first. I'm on number five. I'm going to switch it up to max and see if I get a little bit more feet per second because uh, that will help. Okay, that's a good velocity, I think, for testing. Okay, my target's out at 50 yards. And oh, hopefully I'm on, we'll be on paper. I'm going to take off the FX radar and put on my dampener and start there. From sort of zero. Just a quick look at the dampener. Nothing more than an uh, inch and a half PVC with a 3D printed sleeve inside to make it fit snug. A nylon nut on top. I basically start it back at this seam of the moderator. Start shooting and if I'm not getting accuracy, I'll start moving it out. So let's get back on target. Okay, if the camera shows it, I aimed at the top center target and I got three shots on the right target, probably spaced 
out six inches so I'm gonna start working with my dampener and see if it improves okay I wanted to come up here and uh, mark these pellet holes I did move uh, two mills to the left uh, and you can see these are tighten up a fair amount uh, so let's go down and do a little bit more tuning with the dampener okay just to show you I moved the dampener from up this seam and I'm using my calipers I started off a half an inch up once it starts getting close uh, probably want to move it more like an eighth of an inch at a time that's what I found out before so I'm going to reset it from a half to five eighths okay decided to switch my measurements to millimeters easier than using fractions first group 12.77 millimeters which was about half inch then it went 16.22 which was 5 eighths of an inch 13.80 millimeters still not so good at 13.8 it started grouping then I fired this group at 15 millimeters and I'm talking about the um, dampener off the uh, seam on the moderator so I'm going to shoot a few more rounds. I might shoot a couple more rounds here and then set up uh, for my ballistic testing. But it shows how you can get a slug that is shooting crazy. And it's all about the harmonics. But with my dampener, you don't have to uh, change the velocity. You just change the uh, harmonics by uh, using the dampener. Okay, ready for some ballistic expansion testing with the varmint knockers, 31.5 hollow points at 50 yards. And uh, let's begin. All right. The round is within the blocks once again this is five pounds of 20 percent gel and it looks like it penetrated about like the Griffins did through this block in about another quarter of an inch we'll dig this out in a moment I'm going to put the five or the 12 ounce block of uh, 10% gel, pigeon weight, and see what it does. It probably is not going to uh, contain the round, but it should make it expand some. Well, hell, that's another boy and girls, boys and girls moment. Notice that. It plowed over this block. Look at the damn hole there. Compared to the testing I was doing the other day with the FX hybrids. Little bitty holes. We'll fish this out and then fish the uh, other um, barmet knocker from the gel block and see what we have. Well, I tell you, well, I tell you, um, very impressive. The unfired varmint knocker. This is the one that went into the uh, five pounds of 20% gel. And this is the amazing part. This went through 12 ounces of 10% uh, gel, representing the pigeon uh, weight size of critter. And, uh, I'm going to measure this one. Uh, 
Gotta switch back two uh, inches. And there you go, 0.417. So you got the, uh, actually that's about the same amount of expansion you got on the uh, FX hybrids in 22. But these are a heavier round, so they're going to carry that energy downrange further and hopefully still expand. But uh, this is the type of expansion you want. Alrighty.